All right, so my last little update. I commented on being a lot busier now than what I used to be. Here's an example of how busy I have been. Back in May, we had a really heavy storm roll through. We're talking about 90 mile an hour winds for about 20 minutes. Lots of hail, lots of other nonsense. And here it is, uh, 24 hours from November. And uh, I've just now had a chance to bring the I-2000 tower down because after that storm, she was freewheeling. They're not quite freewheeling. Actually, I turned it back on the other day. It lost a phase, but it was still working a little bit. <clears throat> all right. I should have mowed all this down before I dropped it. So, basically, nothing down the line, no voltage. We're gonna take a look and see if there's anything obvious going on. Let's look inside here. And obvious, there is. See a lot of corrosion on those two terminals. Oh, that's not even connected. Burn that right off. Let's give each of those a good tug. The other one seemed to be connected well enough. Wish this was a little higher. All right, so. Y'all go look at the sky for just a minute while I loosen up these terminals. So I definitely have nothing downstream of this block. I've commented on these blocks before. I'm really not a fan of them. I like running my turbines however they come to me. I knew there was a good chance that it would cause me problems in the future by doing so. My chose to accept that risk. All right, so I don't see any scorching on the wires themselves coming from the stator. Let's see if we can get a little bit more height because uh hmm. yeah, that's the thing. Well, that's really loose. Pretty floppy on that end too. I'll take the tail off and take a look at that before I send it back up. Let's uh, pause this for a sec. All right, so didn't have a jack. Oh, well. Kind of cleared my stuff around here. <laughs> I 
We'll bring the mower around next time. Okay. So now, now that I have room to see what's going on here, actually see if there's any resistance on the blades. I'm shorting out all of my phases. Oh good. Okay, so got plenty of resistance. We're gonna short out just two phases. Not as much, but definitely resisting. Let's do the other two. Good. So the stator's good. I think it's just that block. Alright. Hopefully. Yeah. One of the things that, that happens is whenever that thing starts freewheeling, it'll lead up that slip ring. I've only got one more of those slip rings handy. Let's uh Let's go check that out right quick. Let's give me another second. Okay. All right, so basically, let's look for... I'm basically just keep checking continuity here. And the brake's on. No, the brake's not on. Okay, so I had the brake off inside. We are just... Nothing. Y'all. Oh. Y'all wouldn't believe how hard it is to film and do this with only two hands. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do black to yellow. This is how I'm having to do it. <laughs> Need to get me some little clippies. We're doing black to red. Got nothing. So now let's, uh, that tells me there's no shorts. Let's, uh, let's go and put the brake on. And then I should read just a dead short across all three. Let's walk through this nonsense again. If I can ever have time to do it, I got a new wind turbine. But I've also had that one for a while too. Let's put there. I can't say all this is still going with minimal issues. And my biggest issue being all of that nonsense. The tops of my batteries are all gross. I'm going to have to get new cables and uh get that all cleaned up oh. And I wish I could get this grass to grow all over the rest of my field. I have all this thistle. I hate thistle. Okay, so now we should get dead short between those two. Uh-oh. No continuity between black and red. Continuity between black and yellow. No continuity between yellow and red. 
which means that we lost red when that slip ring is shot. So, I was hoping I might be able to stand it back up this evening, but I guess she is down until I get a new slip ring. Bummer. But, I can say, It was uh, a very serious storm. It was working beautifully all the way up until that storm and then it, it did not do well. Our, at that time, I had already had the Healy 2.0 shut down. So it didn't take a hit. And it's up there making probably about 200 or 300 watts in our little breeze that we got going on see that tree dancing just a little bit just enough to wiggle the, the branches but it's still making some power not much power <laughs> well, I guess it idled down pretty low 200 watts so, yeah, well, thought I'd take y'all with me since I had time to check that stuff. And uh, we'll be ordering some parts and we'll get it put back together. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope y'all have a wonderful, easy evening.